Hello children, welcome to Math Park. We have second part of exercise 12A. In this, we are going to solve question number 10 onwards of this exercise. So children, if you like the video, please share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. So we start with question number 10 now. In question number 10, we have D, E and F are the midpoint. So D is midpoint of A, B. So we have D is the midpoint of AB, E is the midpoint of BC and F is the midpoint of AC. Okay. And also AE meets DF at O. When we join DF, AE meets DF at O. And P and Q are the midpoints of OB and OC respectively. So again, so P is the midpoint of OB and Q is the midpoint of OC. So, you have to prove that D, P, Q, F is a parallelogram. Okay. So, we use in triangle A, B, C and triangle O, B, C. So, you have in triangle A, B, C by midpoint theorem, you have D, F. You have D, F is equal to half B, C. So, this is how you get 2 D, F is equal to B, C. And also, you have P, Q is equal to half B, C. So, this is how you get 2PQ is equal to BC. So, from this you get DF is equal to PQ. So, we got one pair of opposite sides equal. Moving to the next triangle that is in triangle ABO. So, in triangle ABO this triangle and triangle ACO. Again you have this DP. DP is par. You have DP is equal to half of AO by midpoint theorem. So, you get 2DP is equal to AO. And here you have EQ is equal to half AO. So that is how you get two, sorry, two, sorry, FQ is equal to half AO. So this is how you get two FQ is equal to AO. From this, you understand that PD is equal to FQ. So now PD is equal to FQ. So both the pairs of opposite sides, you got equal. So therefore, you get DPQF is a parallelogram. Since both the pairs of opposite sides are equal, you got P, D, F, Q is a parallelogram. Question number 11. In triangle A, B, C, P is the midpoint of side B, C. A line through P and parallel to C, A meets A, B at point Q. Okay. And a line through Q and parallel to B, C meets A, P at R. You have to prove that AP is equal to 2AR. That means if AP is equal to 2AR, we have to prove that R is a midpoint. So it is quite easy since we know that, uh, let us see, here PQ is parallel to AC. Therefore, by converse of midpoint theorem, you get Q is the midpoint. Okay, Q is the midpoint of AB. Now, if Q is the midpoint and we know that QR is parallel to AP, so, by that, you get R is the midpoint. Since a line drawn to the midpoint of one side parallel to another, biases the third side. So, this is how you get R is the midpoint of AP. So, if R is the midpoint of AP, you get AP is equal to 2AR. Right? So, you get AP is equal to 2AR because R is the midpoint of AP. Then, we have to prove BC is equal to 4QR. So, for that, now let us extend this R to S. So, when you extend this, you get these two triangles. So, in triangle PQR and triangle ASR, in triangle PQR ASR, we have angle PRQ is equal to ARS because they are vertically opposite angles. Next, you have PR is equal to AR. You have just proved that R is the midpoint. And also, you have Angle RPQ is equal to angle RAS since they are alternate angles. These two are alternate angles as you have PQ is parallel to AC and AP is a transversal. So, therefore, you have triangle PQR is congruent to triangle ASR by angle side angle ASA. And since the triangles are congruent, corresponding sides are equal. So, therefore, you get QR is equal to SR by CPC. You got these two sides equal. Now, if QR is equal to SR, we can use the... So, Q is the midpoint of AB and QS is the part of QR which is parallel to BC. Therefore, you have S is the midpoint. 
So that is how you get QR is equal to SR already. Uh, S is the midpoint. So this is if the line segment joining the midpoint, you have QS is equal to half BC or you get twice QS is equal to BC. Okay. So by midpoint theorem, you get BC is equal to 2QS. Now QS, QS is equal to 2QR because QR is equal to SR. So instead of QS, we can put 2QR over here. And 2 times 2, it is 4QR. This is how we proved BC is equal to 4QR. Got it? Question number 12. In trapezium A, B, C, D, A, B is parallel to A, B is parallel to D, C. And P and Q are the midpoints of the non-parallel sides. P is the midpoint over here and Q is the midpoint of B, C. And BP produced, BP produced meets CD produced at E. You have to prove that point P bisects BE. That means you have to prove PE is equal to PB. Point P is the midpoint of BE. This is what you have to prove. Secondly, you have to prove that PQ is parallel to EB. So let's start in triangle PED, in triangle PED and in triangle PBA. You have PD is equal to PA because P is the midpoint given. So you have PD is equal to PA. Next you have angle DPE is equal to angle APB. They are vertically opposite angle. And also you have this angle E is equal to angle PBA. They are alternate interior angles. Okay. So how alternate interior angles? Because AB is parallel to CD. CD or CE is the part. Right. So therefore, you get triangle PED is congruent to PBA by AAS, by angle, angle side. Since the triangles are congruent, you get PE is equal to PB, CP, CT. And this is how point, we'll say that point P bisects BE. Right, the first part done. Now, point P bisects BE, we have proved. So, look at triangle BCE. In triangle BCE, we have P is the midpoint of a, B, E and Q is the midpoint of B, C. So, therefore, you get P, Q is parallel to C, E. Okay. So, by midpoint theorem, a line segment joining midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and by and is half of it. So, this is how you get P, Q parallel C, E. But we already know that C, E is parallel to A, B. So, therefore, you get P, Q is parallel to A, B. Lines parallel to the same line are parallel to one another. So, this is how these three lines are parallel to one another. Question number triangle ABC, AD is the median and E is the midpoint of the median AD. A line through B and E meets AC at F. Prove that AC is equal to 3AF. Okay. So, let us have a construction. Let us draw DG parallel to BF. So, DG parallel BF we have drawn. So, in triangle ADG, we have DG is parallel to BF. And E is the midpoint of AD. So, therefore, a line drawn to the midpoint and parallel to the another side bisects the third. So, therefore, you get F is the midpoint of AG. So, this is how you get AF is equal to GF. In triangle BCF, again, we have DG is parallel to BF. And D is the midpoint of BC. So, therefore, you get G is the midpoint of CF. This is how you get GF is equal to CG. So, from 1 and 2, you got AF is equal to GF is equal to CF. Right? So, these three, all the three are equal. And therefore, I instead of this all, I can write AF and AF. So, this is how you get AC is equal to 3 AF from equation 1 and 2. Got it? In question number 14, D and F are the mid midpoints of sides AB and AC. So, D is the midpoint of AB and F is the midpoint of AC. A line through F and parallel to AB. So, these two lines are parallel to each other. Meets BC at point E. You have to prove that B, D, F, E is a parallelogram. Also, find AB if EF is given as 4.8. So, since F is the midpoint and we know that FE is parallel to AB, so, therefore, by converse of midpoint theorem, you get E is the midpoint of BC. You get E is the midpoint of BC. Got it? The first part. Now, if E is the midpoint of BC, 
you can f is the midpoint of ac so therefore you get therefore you get be is equal to half bc since e is the midpoint you get be is equal to half of bc correct so let this be our equation number 1 and you have ef is equal to half ab why because e is the midpoint of bc and f is the midpoint of ac and line segment joining the midpoints is parallel to the third side and is half of it this is how you get ef is equal to half ab also, since D and F are the midpoints of AB and AC respectively, therefore you have DF is parallel to BC and DF is equal to half BC, right? And DF, now DB is equal to half of AB. Why? Because D is the midpoint of AB. So, the DB is equal to half of AB. So, from equation 1 and 3, from equation 1 and 3, you get BE is equal to half BC and also DF is equal to half BC. Therefore, you get BE is equal to DF. And from equation 2 and 4, we get EF is equal to half AB and DB is equal to half AB. Therefore, you get BD is equal to EF. Right? So, now both the pairs of opposite sides are equal. So, therefore, you get BDEF is a parallelogram. Okay. Next, we have to find out the AB. Now, we already know that AB is equal to 2EF. Here, AB is equal to 2EF. This 2 moves over here. So, putting the value of EF now, so 2 times 4.8, we get AB is equal to 9.6 centimeters. Got it? Question number 15. In triangle ABC, AD is the median and DE is drawn parallel to side BA. So, DE is parallel to BA. Which meets AC at point E, you have to show that BE is also median. That means what? We have to prove that E is the midpoint of AC. Right? So, we start with AD is the median. So, therefore, we know that D is the midpoint of BC. And then, we also know that DE is parallel to AB. So, since DE is parallel to AB, a line drawn to the midpoint parallel to another bisects the third. So, therefore, by converse of midpoint theorem, you get DE biceps AC. This is how you get E is the midpoint of AC. Now, if E is the midpoint, then definitely BE is going to be the median. A line segment from a vertex which divides the opposite side into two equal parts is the median. So, this is how you get BE is the median. Then E is the midpoint of AD. And AD is the median. So, that is how D is the midpoint of BC. So, let us have a construction over here. Let us join, D, uh, draw DY, which is parallel to BQ. Now, in this triangle ADY, you know that E is the midpoint of AD. And a line drawn to the midpoint parallel to the another. That is, EQ is parallel to DY. Therefore, you get Q is the midpoint of AY. Now, if Q is the midpoint of AY, you get EQ is equal to half of dy or you get twice EQ is equal to dy. Okay. Now, in triangle BQC, in triangle BQC, you have D is the midpoint of BC and dy is parallel to BQ. So, therefore, you get dy is equal to half of BQ. Okay, take this 2 over here, you get 2 dy is equal to pq, but bq is equal to be plus eq. Okay, so 2 dy, so instead of dy, I can write now 2 eq. So 2 in bracket, 2 eq is equal to be plus eq. Or you can say that be plus eq is equal to 2 to the 4 EQ. So, if this EQ goes over here, you get BE is equal to 4 EQ minus EQ, which is equal to 3 EQ. Shift this EQ over here, you get BE upon EQ is equal to 3. So, we can write it as 3 upon 1. This is what you get BE is to EQ is equal to 3 is to 1. Got it? The last question of this exercise, in the given figure, M is the midpoint of AB and it is also the midpoint of DE. 
and n is the midpoint of df and also the midpoint of bc you have to show that ef is equal to ac you have to show that ef is equal to ac so let us start with the midpoint theorem for the triangle def so in triangle def you know that m is the midpoint of de and n is the midpoint so line segment joining the midpoint is half of the third side that is how you get mn is equal to half ef or you can say 2 mn is equal to ef got it let us use the midpoint theorem for triangle abc now in triangle abc you have m is the midpoint of ab and n is the midpoint of bc therefore mn is going to be mn is going to be parallel to ac and also half of that so that is how you get mn is equal to half ac or 2 mn is equal to ac this 2 shifts over here so from these two equation we just get ef is equal to ac this is what to be proved got it easy that so next exercise will be solved in the next video children and that will also be solved in the part so if you like the video please share with your friends and if you are new to the channel please subscribe